Laba moment here, hello and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, Karibu Sana, welcome. So I'm starting a new series and I'm gonna call it Did You Know series. It's gonna be one of my many playlists. So for you to interact with this content, you can always check that playlist. And uh, in this particular part, uh, part one, I want to tackle the issue of online safety. I know with uh, COVID, most people are working on online or via online systems more than they used to before. And it is very important for us to know how to take care of ourselves as we engage online, as we share information online. So I'm going to tackle something called digital footprint. And I'm hoping that this will be a light bulb moment for most of you, my subscribers, my fam. So leave me a comment down below if you find this content useful and like 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 this particular video it will support my channel so let's dive in so what is digital footprint so i'll give you a second no yeah 20 seconds to think through these words digital footprint what is it Backbenchers, anybody? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Okay. So, digital footprint, what is it? Basically, digital footprint is the trail of data you create while you're using the internet. Simple. Just a trail of data you create while you're using the internet. Sounds pretty simple and easy and like something that you don't need to worry about yes you should and also you should not worry about so how can you leave this uh, data or this trail you can leave it passively or unintentionally uh, probably uh, there could be some bots or something else behind the scenes collecting data your data without your knowledge or you could leave it actively like when you post something online you actively create your digital footprint so what does uh, this digital footprint that you leave or this trail of data include it includes it can be your ip address which will link you to your internet service provider though the ip address changes from time to time or it could be your device's MAC address. It could also be your password, your username. It could be your the, the websites that you've visited, the search history. Uh, it could be emails that you've sent, chat messages that you've sent, tweets that you've posted, photos that you've uploaded, that you've been tagged on, that you've shared, that you've liked, that you've disliked, that you've commented on. Basically, any information that um, you send uh, through the internet leaves a digital footprint or a trail that can be mapped uh, or connected with you, with your online uh, presence, with your online uh, self. So, implications of the digital footprint you leave. Um, what does it mean? So, more time on social media will uh, result to your digital footprint growing larger and larger. Also, private information could be exposed um, uh, through your digital uh, uh, footprint. There could be uh, the risk of uh, reputation damage if whatever information is um, exposed through your engagement passively or actively. Uh, in the internet could damage uh, your reputation or somebody else's reputation or your company's reputation. There's risk of financial loss if your credit card and your bank account numbers are um, hacked. Uh, people could use that information and withdraw your, 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 your money. There is, could also be the risk of impersonation. Somebody creating a persona that looks uh, or acts uh, like you behaves like you has the same information that uh, personally identifies you as an individual online 
so your personal your personally identifiable information can be easily replicated and somebody else takes that persona and does some uh, damaging stuff online in the pretense of being you so that's why it is important to understand the digital footprint and as you interact with it you need to know what as you interact with the internet you need to know that you are creating a trail of data that can be mapped directly to you but however do not fret because all internet users have a digital footprint the big question is what does your digital footprint say about you what does it say about you so that's um something that you really need to consider and think about as you engage online all right so why should you care about the digital footprint why is it important what is, why is it an important um topic to for me to discuss also um the internet number one never forgets and one uh, uh, statement uh, that has been uh, used is the internet does not have a delete key yes websites such as instagram and other social media sites like facebook might have a delete button to delete something from your profile but th there is no delete key for that particular piece of information somebody might have a uh, screen uh, shorted is, is that such a word made a screenshot of that particular thing that you had posted and that's why you will find uh, these things being called receipts uh, by the likes of um, Edgar Obare um, that is a, pr a, a good example that the internet does not forget so th this is why you should care as you engage online whatever you post online just know that the internet never forgets if you decide to expose your your personal information your social life your family life just do it with the mind and uh, the clarity of mind that these things can never be deleted from the internet deleting content is not equal to erasing the digital footprint that's also something that you need to know okay so what are the do's um how can you uh, manage the digital footprint you leave behind what can you do to ensure that the digital footprint or rather the data the digital data you leave behind will not be used against you or will not be used to uh, commit a uh, cyber crime or will not be used to harm anybody including yourself in uh, now or in the near future the baseline idea is that you need to be intentional and mindful on the trail you leave behind if you forget everything else i say i have 10 do's that you need to um, follow which i got from kaspersky's website but if you forget everything else just know and remember that you've got to be intentional and mindful and careful as you engage and as you interact online but these are the top 10 do's that you could consider following number one keep your personal information professional and limited no one needs to know your relationship status or your uh, private phone number you can always have a professional uh, private uh, a professional line that people can reach you through you can create a professional profile on linkedin with the right kind of information where people can engage you professionally number two keep your privacy settings on your devices on and on all your socials all your social medias just check your privacy settings and enable or turn on and off things that you do not you, you do not want revealed i know these things are pretty hard to find but even on facebook if you go to your settings and privacy settings you will realize there's so much information and data that you've been leaving open for other users to engage with without your knowledge and also hackers and marketers are always looking out for that kind of data practice safe browsing um one word i can say uh one statement i can say about this thou shall not walk through a dangerous online neighborhood 
that's basically what practicing safe browsing is the fourth thing that you need to do make sure your internet connection is secure and you could consider using a virtual private network and uh, basically what these vpns are is they enable you to have a secure connection between your device and the internet server that no one else can monitor or access the data that you're transacting through that particular channel number five be careful what you download you could be downloading a computer virus you could be downloading something that will um uh, collect more data about yourself maybe through the device that you're you're, you're using it could be your phone um, that particular uh, uh, virus could go and read your messages read your mobile money messages and get information that you'd not want uh, to be revealed to hackers number six choose strong passwords this sounds like pretty much something easy but you'll notice most people like to use one two three four five six or six two three uh, the other way around basically or your birth uh, year or a combination of your names and your birth year please those are not strong passwords so ensure that you have a password that um, incorporates uh, as many characters as possible numbers letters um, asterisks and all those other special characters so use a password manager if you're not uh, the kind of a person who is who easily forgets you can use a password manager software where you store all your passwords and you could easily um, access them at your convenience number seven make online purchases from secure sites so how do you know that you're accessing a secure website or e-commerce site if for example you're shopping online on jumia right now people are going crazy on november black friday deals and you just get a link uh, to a website and you click on it and you start shopping and you enter your credit card details etc without checking whether that particular site is secure but how do you know whether that site is secure one way to know is look at the url does it start with https where the s just uh, stands for secure or does it just um, start with http without an s so be very careful engage with um, urls that have that last s um, on the url okay number eight be careful what you post um very easy the internet does not have a delete key that's what we said earlier and number nine be careful who you meet online just as you're careful with your your in-person social life you also have got to be careful with your online social life because there are so many fake people you could be catfished there's so many people creating profiles that are not real yeah so be very careful and this is how you get young children and teenagers being catfished and being taken advantage of because you meet somebody online and you, are, you think this person is your age mate but then you find out that this is an older person who can easily take advantage of you the last but not the least keep your antivirus uh, program up to date so update your antivirus update your operating um, system whenever you get that notification on your phone to update uh, your android operating system or your ios please do not ignore that because they have new patches or new updates that will keep you um, safe as you engage and as you interact online using those devices those are the do's so what are the don'ts so the don'ts thou shall not click on suspicious urls thou shall not provide information that you wish to keep private thou shall not leave your online profiles or your any device your mobile phone your laptop don't leave these devices logged in because somebody can easily log um, access your gmail access your social media account and uh, do crazy things um there and uh, th th i could write so many thou shall not uh, but the baseline idea is thou shall not not follow 
the do's that I mentioned above. And uh, yeah, I hope that you've learned something. I hope that this has been useful. Uh, leave me a comment down below. And again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, if you like what I do, please subscribe. If uh, you're not yet convinced, please keep coming back and watching my content until you get convinced to subscribe. And like, 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 like this particular video share it as widely as possible also let me know whether you'd want me to show you how i created this beautiful powerpoint presentation and i will be glad to show you how to do it just leave me a comment down below if you'd want me to um record how to do this um beautiful presentation also if you'd want me to address more things concerning um online safety just um leave a comment again uh, down below in the comment section also if you'd want me to address um, child online protection how do you ensure that your children are safe online or your your siblings your younger siblings are, are safe online I could do another um, video on that uh, particular area just leave me a comment if you would want to see that so um, please subscribe again like and also hit that notification bell down below next to the subscribe button is a bell icon just hit that notification bell so to get notified whenever i make any new uploads okay thank you for your continued support and uh, bye bye